I've worked up already. But honestly, don't worry about it. Relax. If you need to start again, it's mandatory. Hello, my name is Jack Cox. This is my media. Hello, my name is Jack Cox. This is my reader profile survey for my magazine, IND. In order to gain a greater understanding of my target audience, I carried out some primary research in the form of an online survey in order to receive some quantitative data. The first question that I asked my respondents was their age. 70% of the respondents were within the age group of 16 to 24, which is my target demographic. Secondly, I asked my respondents whether they were male or female. Um, 86 of them were, 86 percent of them. Ah. <sighs> Secondly, I asked my respondents what their gender was, um, and 86 percent of the respondents were male. I received 50 um, respondents for my online survey and 30 of them, so 60%, fell under my target demographic of a male aged between 16 and 24. Because of this I will need to focus my mode of address for my magazine and appeal to them. From now on I will only be analysing the results from the 30 respondents who met my target demographic. In order to receive a greater insight into the 30 respondents, I asked them about their education. Firstly, I found that 27 of them were currently in full-time education. When asked what level of education they currently have, the majority of them proceeded into further and higher education, which shows that they are quite intelligent and smart. Therefore, I will address a slightly serious approach in my magazine. Pricing on my magazine was a very important factor, um, which I wanted to know about more in quite detail. As we saw in the previous slide, 53% of my respondents were currently at university. Therefore, they may be a bit tight on their money due to student loans. Um, 22 of my respondents said that they would pay between £1.50 and £3 for my magazine. Um, but I've chosen to use price penetration and sell my magazine at £1.50 in order to create a fan base as they would like the price and maybe buy the magazine because of the price. I then asked my respondents their favourite genre of music and the majority of them chose rock, indie and pop music and punk was quite close as well. Um, therefore I will focus my magazine on these genres and maybe bands that fall into more than the one genre of the four that they liked. Um, to sell to the demographic. I then asked them how do they download music. Um, majority of them did actually download their music illegally, um, so I had to take this into consideration. Therefore I will advertise a lot of live music, gigs, um, festivals and even some local bands. Um, and maybe I will offer free downloads as promotional offers in help I then asked my uh, I then asked my respondents how do they download their music and the majority of them did actually download it illegally with 18 of the 30 respondents um, therefore I will advertise a lot of live music um, gigs uh, festivals and little local bands and um, I can also offer free downloads as a promotional offer to help sell the magazine. I completely forgot to write anything on this about this one. Well, let's make it up. I asked my respondents who their role model was, um, as I thought I could get a good insight into who they actually are. As you can see, it was quite split. Um, ten of them had a role model as a celebrity. 
10 of them also had a family member. Um, eight of them saw their role model as an inspirational figure, maybe someone in the government or the president. And two of them said that they didn't have a role model. Um, from this, I can decide to include a variety of different people in my magazine. It doesn't have to be just based on music. I can have a small feature about other topics that are happening in the news at the moment. I believe you can tell a lot about somebody by the clothes that they wear, um, their personality, the amount of money they have, um, and their lifestyle, for example. For example, someone who may wear Fred Perry and Pretty Green might be quite modish, while someone that wears sporting clothes such as Adidas and Nike may be a bit more active and like sport a bit more. Um, the top five brands chosen were Top Man, River Island, Fred Perry, Hollister and Adidas. So I could potentially use these brands in advertisements in my magazine and my artists can wear these brands as well in their photo shoots. After analysing my results, I created a reader profile to see my ideal reader. Um, my ideal reader is male. They're aged between 16 and 24. Um, they're still in education. Um, they fall under the A, B, C1 classes, um, and they enjoy music, fashion, and sports. Thank you for listening. It's good. Very good.